provision for doubtful debt. First, uh, I would like to explain you the meaning of doubtful debts. What do we actually mean by doubtful debts? Debts, you know, what do you mean by debts? Here, debts means uh, here debt means uh, debtors. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here, debts means debtors, debtors, or you can say receivables. And debtors are uh, debtors and receivables are, means uh, those persons from whom we are to recover money. Yeah, and now those persons are what? Those persons are now doubtful, isn't it? Doubtful means uh, uh, there is possibility that they will uh, not pay us the money. We are to recover money, but due to certain reasons, might be uh, they are unable. To, uh, they are, they will not pay us money. So okay, so such debts are known as what doubtful debts. For those debts, we we need to make the provision. Provision for doubtful debts means uh, allowance. Allowance for what? Allowance for the potential loss. Allowance for the potential loss because when they will not pay us money, obviously there will be loss, isn't it? Uh, arising from the uh, arising from the possibility of uh, incurring bad debts. So understood the, per the the meaning of debts. Debts means those persons from whom we are to recover money. Yeah, and now those persons are what? Those persons are doubtful. Doubtful means uh, uh, there is remote possibility of uh, that uh, those persons will pay us money. Such persons, such debtors are known as what doubtful debts. And for those doubtful debts, for those persons, now we need to make you know provision. So uh, again, I am repeating. See what is provision for doubtful debts? Provision means uh, making arrangement or uh, making uh, or allowing some money or taking some money from the profits, setting aside some money from the profits. And for what? For the potential loss. For the potential loss which will arise. Which will arise due to what? From the possibility of incurring bad debts. Bad debts means uh, debtors will now uh, not pay us money. So whatever amount we are not in position to recover money from debtors, that amount is known as what? Bad debts. Suppose uh, suppose this is the year 2013. Its beginning date is January 1st, and its last date is 31st December. Isn't it? And uh, on this last date, uh, my debtors are. My debtors are of a dollar suppose ten thousand. Okay, it means I have I have to recover how much amount from debtors ten thousand. But uh, uh, as per my experience, that uh, out of this ten thousand, uh, one thousand uh, will not be recovered in the coming year. Uh, out of ten thousand, one thousand will be turned into bad debts. Only nine thousand uh, I will be able uh, to recover from the debtors. So what is the possibility? What is, this is possibility possible loss, na? Yeah, one thousand. Get my point? Again, I am repeating. See, this is my year. This is the beginning date and last date. And on this last date, my debtors are of dollar ten thousand. It means ten thousand we are to recover. And this money we will recover now in which year? Two thousand fourteen. Isn't it? Because after two thousand thirteen, the next year will be two thousand fourteen. So in this year, we will get money from debtors. And what we are estimating that no doubt that debtors are of dollar ten thousand. But out of this ten thousand, we are estimating. It is our uh, assumption. Uh, and uh, for this, you know, we will uh, use our you know experience. It is our experience for uh, for past ten uh, or twenty uh, years that whatever debtors are there, it's ten percent uh, turn into bad debts. This is our experience. So on that basis, uh, now I am uh, on that basis I am computing this amount that my debtors are of ten thousand and it's ten percent. How much? One thousand. So it means out of ten thousand, now I am estimating that one thousand will be you know one uh, thousand will not be recovered. So one thousand will be bad debts and only nine thousand I will recover in future. So what is the possible loss? So this one thousand is the possible loss now. As per my estimation, and for this now we need to make what provision, and provision making provision for doubtful debts means uh, considering uh, you know future losses in uh, in the current year, because right now we are in in which year 2013, so the next year will be 2014, and in this year out of 10,000 we will recover only 9,000, isn't it? As per our estimation, so and 1,000 will be turned into bad debts, isn't it? So this this is the possible loss as per our estimation, and for this possible loss, now we will make uh, this provision. So first we need to what we need to estimate the possible loss. 
so this this i estimated that in the next year 2014 the 1000 will be turned into bad debts so this is my estimation so first step is what that estimate compute estimate the amount of loss that how much amount will not be uh, recovered in the next year or in the coming years so first estimate so so my estimation is what that 1000 will be turned into bad debts and after estimation now what we need to do we need to create provision so this is what this is future loss and by creating this uh, provision for doubtful debts what we are doing we are considering this future loss in the present year in the current year so creating provision for doubtful debts means uh, considering future losses in the current year there is one concept in the accounting what which concept prudency concept this concept says what that consider future losses this is future loss na 1000 so consider that loss in the current year this loss we will you know face in next year but now i will consider this loss in the current year this loss this loss will in incur in which year 2014 but i will consider this loss in this 2013 in the current year so this uh, who says this this concept prudency concept that consider future losses in the current year but don't but don't consider future earnings and the purpose is what why why we need to consider future losses why we need to consider future losses in the current year so that our income statement so that we our income statement you know uh, doesn't uh, doesn't overstate the profit get my point prudency concept says that don't let don't let your income statement to show excess profit so for that purpose for that purpose you know we will consider future losses in the current year so this is the prudency concept and to follow this concept we need to make a adjustment for doubtful debts we need to make a provision for doubtful debts so we are creating we are you know creating provision for doubtful debts to follow which concept prudency concept so right now what we estimated that 1000 will turn into bad debts isn't it i have taken one example this is our current year and this is our next year 2014 and i estimated now that in the next year there will be loss of dollar 1000 isn't it so what i will do this is future loss and for this future loss what i will do in the current year i will set aside some profits